Hey guys, it's Toast again from Fish Yacker. Since I picked up the 2017 Chevy Silverado and I told everybody I was going to be setting it up to really be my traveling machine and make it probably uh, one of the perfect kayak fishing transport vehicles, well, I've been outside a little while ago doing a couple of things on it. I'm going to have videos up for those soon, but as you know, I like to do a lot of product reviews on really inexpensive products. Here's another one, and this one is specific to the guys out there that have a later model, size 1500 Chevrolet Silverado. It's frame plugs. Now these I picked up off of eBay. And yeah, a lot of the stuff I uh, pick up online, especially the fishing gear I buy, a lot of this stuff's cheap junk from overseas. This is actually sent to me from Texas, and I got it in a matter of just, I don't know, three or four days. So here's the posting for it right here. It says, four pieces, frame tube, plugs, rear wheel well for 99 to 17, Chevy Silverado, GMC, Sierra 1500. It's $6.36 of free shipping, and it's sent right to your door. Yeah, it's not coming from overseas. It's not taking a month to get to me. There are some of these that I've seen for $4 and some change, but a lot of those are being shipped from overseas, uh, and who knows how long it's going to take to get to you. These are domestic. So what you get are the four in a box, uh, the bag right there that I just opened up. Uh, when I open it up, it's actually pretty well uh, well packaged. It's a higher quality uh, Ziploc. So you have four plugs. These go on those uh, on the frame holes that actually have the cross members there right inside the rear wheels. Uh, it's a hard plastic. Again, these are cheap. You're only looking at what? like a buck and a few cents a piece, whatever it comes out to being. Uh, yeah, math is not my real forte, but oh well. Uh, but yeah, four of them, they all match. They should plug right in and hold pretty well. But uh, heck, I want these mainly because, you know, I'm, I'm towing the trailer and I'm basically taking that truck in all sorts of places, a lot of salty places, sandy places, wet places, muddy places, with rocks, everything. And uh, at least right now, yeah, I'm a southern boy, but I'm stuck up north, and we have some pretty nasty uh, road prep stuff they put on it up here. I want to keep that stuff as much out of the frame as I can. And this, so what I did, I just took the power sprayer, sprayed it out a little bit on the inside, and I'm going to stick these on it, and uh, heck, if they fall off, if I lose them, if they don't stick well on there, they don't hold, whatever, it's not a huge expense, but uh, if I keep some of that grime and, uh, you know, salt and stuff they put on the roads out of the, uh, you know, frame, that's a win-win. So, I'm just going to take these out, see how well they stick right into place. Like I said, there are four of them that will fit the rear end of, you know, one one vehicle, one Silverado, and I don't know. It shouldn't hurt. You know, they don't really add much weight to it. Easiest little DIY, and I'm trying not to use the word mod because the word mod seems to really be totally played out, but, you know, so I'm saying rig my ride, but anyway. I'll put a link down below to it too, guys, so if you want to pick them up, again, these are domestic. Uh, the dealer on these has over 99% positive feedback on it uh, and it does say some of the specs down here again it's a uh, automotive grade thermoplastic it's got a part number on it it's actually uh, fits a two and three quarter inch frame hole uh, it's compatible with a 99 to 2017 Silverado 1500 and Sierra 1500s but it doesn't fit the 2500 and 3500 so again it's four pieces in the package for less than six bucks and fifty cents so six dollars and some change still that price right now but I'll put the link down below there click on it if you're interested in it it's a really cheap easy hack and it might actually help uh, give you a little bit more life out of your frame otherwise heck not much venture, not much gain. So if you haven't yet, please go and subscribe to the Fish Yacker YouTube channel and give us that thumbs up. Anything else you want to see, let us know. We'll get some more on the water footage for you, and we'll be showing you some more of these upgrades we're doing to the Silverado to uh, make it more travel-worthy, road trip-worthy, and uh, fishable. Go figure. Catch on the water, guys. FishYacker.com, the original kayak rigging video series.